I'm Kyra Lewis Bell, 183233. Uh, this is my presentation on futsal. Okay, what is futsal? Futsal was created in the 1930s um, in Uruguay, in a city called Montevideo. Montevideo, sorry. Um, there was, it was, yeah, as I said, it was in the 1930s. There was also a similar game being created in Brazil. So there is a bit of debate about where and when it actually started, but most people argue that it was made in, in Uruguay. Um, futsal is a five-a-side game, five players on each team, one goalkeeper. Um, it's usually played indoors. It can be played outdoors, depending on preference and facilities available, things like that. It's a very high-intensity game due to a number of reasons some of which are just the rules and stuff which allow it to be a higher intensity than football which I'll go into um, later on and it is also shown to have improved technical ability okay so um, one of the themes that I spoke about was the talent development um, when speaking about talent development, now in uh, let's say in the more recent times, academies and football teams have used it a lot more as a talent de development tool because of the limited space that the players have, the limited time that they have on the ball, which causes them to have to think quicker and things like that. There are several famous, well-known football players that played futsal when they were younger that have positive opinions on the game, um, some of which are Ronaldinho, Zidane and Cristiano Ronaldo. There's also many more. As it started in the South American countries, there's a lot more South American players than there are European players, but at the moment the European um, playing on the game is increasing. So the numbers will become more equal in times to come. Uh, Ronaldinho actually stated that it's, he, it helped him develop his skills and understand the knowledge of football better. Even though he's playing a five-a-side game, just his spatial awareness and just being able to have the chance to express himself in a different light helped him to develop as a football player. Um, Zidane also said football is a more disciplined game, so similar to Ronaldinho, Zidane was saying that it was more football is more disciplined, so when he went to go play futsal, he might have the chance to do a skill that he may not do in a game, because skills and things like that aren't always encouraged in football, whereas in futsal, it's encouraged a lot, things like 1v1s and taking on players. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo also said that he felt free when he was, um, when he was playing futsal. So for for a player, for his um, of his quality, especially now um, being named as one of the best players ever, um, saying that he felt free, which is you can see how futsal has developed his game to be the player he is. Um, the laws of the game. So as I said earlier, the laws of the game um, make football the game that it is. Uh, one of the things that make it the game that it is is the football itself or the futsal. The futsal is weighted so and has a reduced bounce so it won't bounce the same as a regular football. It's also smaller uh, which helps things it helps with technical ability and things like that. Um, also the four second rule. The four second rule is when the team has four seconds to get the ball back and play um, after it's gone out for throwing goal kick kick in, wherever it is, um, corners as well. Uh, this will be counted by the referee. This is also obviously keeps the game more intense because the players will have to move quicker to be able to receive the ball to help their team get the ball on um, court. Uh, the real time, so there's a massive debate on how in regular football uh, the time that the ball is actually on the pitch is a lot lower than that the 90 minutes that the football game is. So by having this real time, so let's say the game is five minutes long, then 
ball will be on the court for exactly five minutes and when the ball goes off the court the referee will stop the court and also substitutions there's an unlimited amount of substitutions which keeps the intensity high it also gives the players to come off the pitch and come back on the pitch maybe after they've had the talking about the coach and things like that just to give them a different perspective on the game data collection. Um, for this study I use quantitative data which is the use of numbers um, rather than qualitative data which is the use of asking questions and using interviews and stuff like that. The reason why I use quantitative data is because um, it's more effective in trying to pick up results in this situation. Um, I was comparing the number of forward passes, backward passes, shots on and off target and also kicking. My conclusion, my conclusion from this is that futsal does improve technical ability um, because of the number of touches is greater because of the how high intensity the game is, the ball has to move quicker, everyone has to touch the ball a lot more times rather than in football. There's also less players, so there's less play there's less people for the ball to actually be with. Um, the players also have to be more intelligent when they get the ball, so maybe in football there's a lot of space. So if you have a a loose touch then maybe you might not be found out well whereas if that happens in futsal you have to think about the pressure coming towards you, the size of the court, how much space are you near the line, are you not, are you in the middle of the court, are you trying to get an opportunity to score. Um, yeah, and yeah, there's limited space and also less time on the court, as I said before. Uh, these are the tables, so I compared it to a um, five-a-side game. From the results that I, was at, that I collected, it was, it was clear that Futsal had more forward passes. This is obviously due to the fact that people are trying to get the ball fast. Um, it's a more intense game and moving the ball quick, um, quickly forward is a more, more desired tactic than it, um, in Futsal than it is in football as there's less players and things like that so you want to take the opportunity to use your space better um, there's also less backwards passes so in football there's a lot of space you might need to move the opposition several times before you get the chance to create a chance whereas in futsal there's less players and things like that you might take on someone rather than pass the ball backwards to get it back or something like that um, I also found that in higher intensity and tempo for a lot of reasons, some of those are the laws of the game that I spoke about before and yeah, things like substitutions and other things like that and five side actually has a lower shot on target percentage and this is because of things like the football the football is obviously weighted and smaller it's harder to kick from forever away whereas in a five side game people take a lot of long range shots that aren't really effective Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat>